Beethoven takes a back seat to Boney M and the Bee Gees next month when the APO Does Disco takes over Auckland's Altea Centre. Singing sensations, Annie, more than a woman, crummer, Lawton, <laughs> left me, Cora, and Esther, three times a lady, Stevens, are getting their groove on for the one night only 70s Inferno. Annie and Esther are with us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, ladies. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm very generous. I'm way more than a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Three times a lady. Um, you guys were here last year to talk about the Aretha Franklin show, Respect, yes. that you did together. It's true. So obviously you must like working together. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so love much it. respect. Oh, it, was, yeah. it was a real treat when I found out that Annie was going to be um, doing the disco well, show. Where yeah. I was... Truthfully, I'm just filling in for someone else. Oh, nonsense. <laughs> I'm the booby prize. You're never a booby prize. Oh, but I, I gnawed at the shin to say, yes, I want to do this. So, well, there's yeah, an thrilled. automatic energy that I get from you two, which obviously is why the show is going to be fantastic. But let's talk about these names. Listen, Lauren's yes. not even here <laughs> when he's in the mix. It's just, oh, well, yeah. Yeah, it was super energy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, let's talk about these names. We, 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 how did you get, get these names, Annie? Which name? The, the name? more than a woman oh, name. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> we were given those names. Yeah, they yeah, they were. We didn't choose those. So. <laughs> Do you yeah, agree with them? Me. They were bestowed upon us. Well, we just try and live up to them now. Oh, good, you know. good. Yeah. Norton's one is, yeah, Le Freak. Yeah, yeah, that's, so, that's appropriate. That seems appropriate. But well, how yeah. did you feel when you got, like, three times a lady? Did you think, oh, I'm not a lady? <laughs> oh, no, no, I was very flattered, you know. And like I said, now I just have to live up to it. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, how did this whole event come about? Because you don't usually think about an orchestra mm. with some disco music exactly well the APO have been trying to kind of switch up their program and I guess bring classical music to a new audience and bring people in who, who might not otherwise book tickets to go and see the orchestra yeah. so there's been a myriad of really amazing shows they've done recently they did the David Bowie show last year mm. which was really oh, awesome. fantastic which Lawton was also in and then recently they did a really interesting collaboration with a band called Leisure where they had sort of contemporary pop group with the orchestra doing band. these yeah. lovely arrangements and so this is just kind of a follow on from that just spicing spicing things up a little bit I guess. It's a good idea. And have you managed to get to together with the APO yet and have a run through? Oh, not yet. <laughs> I mean, we definitely need to get together because, you know, I've always said that life is not glee, folks. We're <laughs> all just a bit <laughs> and everything's beautiful. Yeah, you it's don't spontaneously like burst into, into song. <laughs> into song. Yeah. Uh, do but, you yeah, sorry, keep going. Well, they, but we will be rehearsing, uh, obviously, uh, with the orchestra, you know, prior, but uh, before that, us three have to get together. Do you reckon that the, the orchestral sort of, I mean, sort of instruments, what you're thinking about violins and things, they lend themselves to disco music? You know what? Doesn't spring to mind when I think, disco, get out of violin. I well, so get that. I mean, but you listen to Barry White's music. Oh. I mean, and that was the generation. He was going through, you know, the disco phase when it was happening, and he, it's full of strings. Strings, and, a and lot I of think, strings. I think mm. the beat uh, kind of uh, clouded the sincerity of the strings. And with mm. our, uh, our situation, we have a, a band, like a traditional bass guitar drums band playing with us, as well as the orchestra, so you kind of get the best of both worlds. Logistics. And I would, I would <laughs> suspect the orchestra really dig it too, don't they? Just doing something a bit so. different, getting yeah. into the groove of yeah. it. Yeah. I hope they throw away their charts and <laughs> get their sequence and shimmy away and, uh, you know, really mean disco music. D did disco music have an influence in your life? Bro, you're looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> that was Can you so remember the first disco song you fell in love with? Oh, gosh. It was probably oh, Flashlight or something from, uh, I can't even remember. Read a well, I want to say Read a College, but is that wrong? Read that Someone will tell us. so wrong. Um, <laughs> you were way too young. Way too young. I mean, that's a, that's a, a, a hard question to answer, really, because there are so many great ones. My most favourite, favourite one ever is um, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. Oh, Jackson. So just good. from the very get go to the very end of the fade, like Quincy Jones, who produced it, he just turns up all the percussion as it's fading and go and listen to it now. Oh, sounds so good. <laughs> Not now, yeah. let's yeah. do it oh, like yeah. after 10 o'clock. Yeah. Um, Esther, what about you? Because obviously, disco, did you grow up? You wouldn't have grown up with disco, would you? Well, you would have been, I... been the 80s, sort of like Depeche Mode sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, and when growing up, I was really into soul and, and Motown and RB and, and a little bit of disco. My first experience with disco was actually when I was in seventh form and we were doing the smoke-free stage challenge 
Cambridge and our school did Dancing Through the Ages Woo! and me and some friends ended up choreographing a disco number um, for that. So yeah, we did our we did our homework. I don't know how accurately we <laughs> put it together, but did, did you ever go to a bar in Auckland called Boogie Wonderland? Yes, I did. Same, when I floor. turned 18, it was like, oh, you absolutely have the to go to Boogie floor. Wonderland. <laughs> and are they going to transform Altair Centre into something like Boogie Wonderland? I tell you what, they have like hired every disco ball in town. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, the whole country. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah. Do you have to dress 18. up if you go along to watch it? Is it like compulsory? You can if you want to. Okay. If yeah. you've got some things in the wardrobe that you've been dying to bust out for the last you 30 years. You guys going to be dressing then. up? Okay. Oh, there'll, be some, there'll be some frocks. There'll be some frocks. Yeah. Oh, awesome. one night only as well. That's it. Oh, no. I'll get your tickets. Sounds first. so cool. That's hey guys, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Bump We're dressing some. up too. We're some. totally awesome. dressing up. paying. KBB, <laughs> making it rain. KBB Music presents APO Does Disco. It's on Thursday the 14th of June at Auckland's Aotea Centre. You can check out Ticketmaster for details. Jeez, I oh. love these two. Thank you so much for coming yeah, back. Thanks, guys. See you again. Thanks.